Well, let me start by just not adding to the fear or the hysteria against a fusion because uh, there are absolute reasons and indications for doing fusion. I do a lot of them myself for my patients and it just really depends on the difference. But one of the innovative new technologies that we've had available for several years now is uh, artificial disc, disc replacement kind of surgery where you can take a disc out and actually replace the disc and preserve motion, preserve functionality. And, and what that does is it enables early rapid recovery, it enables return to work, it enables long-term functional performance without inherently destroying the performance as part of our objective. And that, when you do a fusion, there's no question you take away some future performance at some level. And uh, modern techniques have minimized the extent of it, but there's no question the most innovative, the most new technology to maximize that performance is artificial disc technology. And a lot of our artificial disc goals are about returning to sport, returning to work, returning to life and fitness and wellness. And it's about the speed at which we can do it. You know, I'm three years out from my uh, mobile disc surgery, my artificial disc surgery. Uh, I've climbed Mount Kilimanjaro um, for Livestrong. I've, I've raced cars with my oldest son uh, in the formula circuit here in, in the United States. Uh, still play basketball, I run you know, three to five miles five days a week, I uh, work out religiously. I'm, I'm, I, I have not suffered because I needed spinal surgery. I have recovered and maintained my previous lifestyle before I hurt my neck because of artificial disc technology. And I think you know, it's, it's, it's a, a solution that along with the culture of recovery, enables people to earn the right to do whatever they want.